Swift L7 Gaming here. So I have been asked the question as a new 890 jump owner whether or not it is more fuel efficient in the 3.15.1 update. So we are at Hurston and I was told that it takes 75% of its hydrogen fuel to get out of atmosphere. So we are going to uh, plot a course up to the space station and we are going to attempt to get out of atmosphere at a relatively uh, cheap, hopefully, uh, cost. So here we go, let's go check this out here. I am absolutely in love with the 890 jump and I just absolutely enjoy rounding the corners and seeing it in the hangar or wherever it's at, especially if you're docked at a space station looking out at the uh, docking port window. Oh. It takes forever though to get down to the elevator. I wish they flipped her around in the uh, in the hangar here. one up at the uh, what is it the 2591 IAE seeing this in the uh, showroom was quite quite something and getting this in wave one uh, with this uh, running out in under a minute is what I've been told I've been reading on the social media I tried picking this up last year at the IAE and was unable to uh, get my bid in in time. But fortunately, we got that into this year. So let's go up to the bridge here and we'll get this thing up into the atmosphere, up in the space. If anyone's noticed any 890 jump owners, they've done a couple uh, changes, uh, very subtle, but a couple changes to the interior, uh, two that I've noted. If you want me to do a video on that, just let me know in the comments, and I will be glad to do that and point that out. I'm pretty new at making uh, videos here, as you can see, so I apologize for the... Uh, audio or, or any other problems here that, that I might be having, but we'll try to correct those as we go out in the future here. Let's see, where's, where's the spaceport at? So as you can see, we have uh, a full tank of hydrogen. So we're just going to keep our eye on that gauge in the right corner there and hopefully not use it all up as we exit. I've done some experimenting here and actually it seems that Hurston is a little better in my estimation than Microtech when getting up into space as far as the 890's fuel consumption. At Microtech I was using roughly, I would say, 15% fuel getting up into the atmosphere. But you also have to remember, you can spawn these vehicles. If it's docked at Microtech uh, on the surface, you can also spawn it up at the space station. Just take a little craft up there and it'll spawn right to a docking port. So that's a really great benefit. I 
I've also done some experimenting with the uh, flying here. There's a couple little tricks to... Thank you. And please visit again. There's a couple little tricks to uh, maximizing your ascent rate and minimizing your fuel consumption. At first I was just shoving the cruise all the way up on the mouse wheel and just trying to get as much speed that I could. And I would estimate that a lot of people make that mistake. But I realized that the, the uh, ship does not ascend as fast uh, when you are at maximum cruise. You want to keep the cruise right around here. And you'll notice that as I push forward in the cruise here, that that little uh, marker doesn't quite keep up uh, like it should if you if you um, what how do I want to say that the ship doesn't want to climb <laughs> when you go faster so just take it nice and easy out of atmosphere I'm aiming for right around 11,000 feet in altitude and that will I guess was that that's not feet that's meters I'm used to uh, used to playing uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator with feet. Right around 11,000 meters in altitude, that seems to be uh, where Hurston likes to jump into space. I might be wrong on that, but that's where I'm aiming for. And you can see our fuel consumption. We're doing great. We are doing very, very great. So they have fixed the problem where the 890 jump has consumed fuel This makes this ship a lot more uh, viable, a lot more uh, efficient to run. It's still a beast, don't get me wrong. You still have to pay uh, quite a bit whenever you use your fuel. Uh, or you can just use all your hydrogen fuel up if you're cruising around a planet or something. And just reclaim your ship and it comes with uh, full fuel tanks. So. That's always a, let's see here, I hate this bug in the game, there we go, I'd love if they fixed that, just that minor annoyance. So here we are at the spaceport, that was, uh, that was easy. You can see the hydrogen level is uh, right where it needs to be. Well, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope that this video has helped answer some questions. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, um, and also uh, comment below if you want me to keep doing some videos. I apologize for the poor uh, microphone quality, and I look forward to making a couple more Star Citizen videos uh, if there's any interest. It's rather enjoyable. See you guys.